Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the weekly Outside Views report on German politics. After fierce criticism from the Greens, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz from the Social Democrats defended the planned reform of European asylum rules. Countries must stop pointing fingers at others and not feeling responsible. That's why the agreement is that we establish a solidarity mechanism, is what Scholz said on Saturday at the Evangelical Church Congress in Nuremberg. Federal Interior Minister Nancy Faeser, also from the Social Democrats, expects the number of refugees in Germany to fall after the reform. Conservative Union politicians are also demanding that the federal government take its own measures against illegal migration before the new rule come into force at EU level. The majority of EU interior ministers voted in favor of a comprehensive reform last Thursday in Luxembourg. For example, people arriving from countries that are considered safe should come to so-called reception facilities that are controlled similar to detention after crossing the border. There it should be checked within 12 weeks whether an applicant has a chance of asylum. If not, they should be sent back immediately. And in the negotiations, the red-green-yellow federal government, as we call it, had campaigned for families with children to be exempted from the so-called border procedures. In order to make the breakthrough possible, they ultimately had to accept that this was not possible. However, it's conceivable that the EU Parliament will still push through changes because they have to negotiate now. Scholz said that Finally, finally, a system of solidarity for the distribution of refugees in Europe had to be established. He promised faster asylum procedures and more digitization of the processes. They have to manage to send someone back who cannot stay in Europe. And Faeser also defended the plans in German media. We continue to protect the people who flee to us from terrible wars, from torture and murder. But in future, this responsibility will be spread over more shoulders. This will also relieve Germany. However, the minister spoke out in favor of subsequent changes. We now want to ensure, together with the European Parliament in further negotiations, that families with children do not have to go through their asylum procedure at the external borders, but can enter the EU straight away, she said. And she was referring to criticism, especially from the ranks of the Greens. There, members had expressed outrage that the federal government had approved the reform plans. The Green MEP Eric Marquardt doubted on Friday in a German public television that the reform would curb irregular migration. He feared that people would then increasingly travel with the help of traffickers in order to avoid being registered at the EU's external border. And the Greens federal chairwoman Ricarda Lang said on Sunday in German television that she believes that the proposal for the reform, as it is now available, does not do justice to the suffering at the external borders and also not really to orderly, will not lead to, to orderly procedures. It is expected that the topic will be discussed controversially at the small party conference on the Greens on Saturday. Union politicians, on the other hand, are saying they are not moving fast enough when it comes to measures against illegal migration. The Christian Democrat leader Friedrich Merz wrote in an email to his supporters last Saturday that a start had been made with the EU asylum compromise, but at the earliest in the course of 2024, there can be centers for the reception and regist registration of asylum seekers at the EU's external borders. And EU member states would have to take protective measures to reduce the number of refugees earlier. If the protection of the external borders of the EU is not sufficiently possible for the time being, the internal borders must be better protected, Merz said. And uh, in a newspaper, Interior Minister Faeser opposed border checks within the EU. She didn't want these, although in some places we do have them because of all the trafficking. But Faeser thinks it would set back decades to raise those barriers again, and that would massively damage the economy, the many commuters and families on both sides of the borders with the neighboring countries. 
In view of the increasing numbers of Mediterranean migrants, the EU Commission, together with Tunisia, wants to take tougher action against traffickers and illegal crossings. And Brussels wants to make a good 100 million euros available to the North African country this year for border management, but also for search and rescue operations and measures against traffickers and the repatriation of migrants. That was announced by Commission President Ursula von der Leyen on Sunday in Tunis after talks with President Kais Sayed. And if you want to know more about what's happening on this planet, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.